Hey, what's up, Chitheads? Big Dog here with Shoot the Chit, and today we're once again going to be talking about the E Ride Pro SS 2.0 electric dirt bike, and more specifically, some of the unintended consequences that come along with owning something like this. I come more from an e-bike background. I was hesitant to get an e-bike at all. I was going to get a full suspension mount Santa Cruz mountain bike. So instead, I opted to get the Turbo Levo here. I love this bike. I've put around 3,000 miles on it. And then one day I was like, you know what? I like trail riding and all, but I kind of want something a little faster. And then I graduated to the next step. This is a 60 volt e-bike capable of speeds up to 40 miles an hour or 49 if you saw my video yesterday, which is a world record. Sometimes even that's not enough. And that's when you graduate to the absolute pinnacle of electric bikes, which is the electric dirt bike. Now there's Talarias, there's Surons, and now there's the E-Ride Pro, which as of right now, this one is the cream of the crop, boy. And let me tell you something, this bike is awesome. But I noticed there's starting to be changes inside of me. Call it a midlife crisis, but hey, I'm only 44 years old. I'm gonna probably live to be 160, 180, so maybe a quarter life crisis. This bike has unlocked something that's been dormant in me for a very long time. I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate that standing in this boring, stuffy living room, am I? No, I'm gonna actually have to show you exactly what I mean. And by that, we're gonna have to go take this bad boy for a ride. We need to take safety very serious. I'm gonna put on the proper gear, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit the streets. Come on guys, let's get going. All right, guys, we are out on the E-Ride Pro SS 2.0. And boy, isn't that a mouthful to say? I wish they would have named this something a little more concise, you know. Suron and Talaria, they just have such a more easier name to say. But man, let me tell you something. You feel like the coolest person in the world riding around on an electric dirt bike. Like everyone looks at you when you're on one of these things. And another thing I need to say, you can see I'm not wearing the Johnny Lawrence jacket anymore because that jacket was swelteringly hot. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't do it, guys. I bought it for this video and I just could not tolerate it. So we're gonna take some little shortcuts on our electric dirt bike because we're unrestricted, fellas. We go wherever we want on this thing. Everyone loves the dirt bike, guys, and that's why I had the Johnny Lawrence get up in the first place because, you know what? Every male secretly or not so secretly wants a dirt bike at some point in their life. I mean, look at every single cool character in the movies. Always had a dirt bike. Rambo, Johnny Lawrence, John Connor. Dirt bikes are just inherently so cool. And let me tell you guys, when you're out riding this thing around, it's impossible to not have fun. You just go wherever you want on these things. Well, I'm not gonna go through that mud though. I'm not trying to get this thing dirty. To give you my perspective coming from e-bike background, a lot of people get these bikes and they like do wheelies and they do the takeovers. And you know, you don't have to be like that. You can just get a bike like this and cruise around like I am, which is what I do most of the time. I'll go fast on it, but I'm not trying to disrupt traffic or be a jerk. I just really love riding this thing around. But today we're just gonna be cruising around because you know what guys, we're unrestricted. It's a Sunday, it's a beautiful day. And uh, I rode my e-bike yesterday, but today we're going to be riding the dirt bike. And we're going to be riding the dirt bike in places that, you know, maybe it's frowned upon. I'm just on a bicycle. You notice the camera picking it up? Everybody looks. Everybody looks at the coolest guy in the world who's having a quarter life crisis on his electric dirt bike. So my biggest worry with getting one of these is, you know, they're kind of an in-between legality because you can't take these on a lot of dirt biking areas because you need to get dirt bike tags, and I guess you can't get them on these bikes. And then technically you can't really ride them on the road. So, you know, you gotta kind of buy one of these at your own risk. But I've had no problem so far, but like I said, I'm not a complete jerk. And the, the area I live in, they have uh, bigger fish to fry than people riding around on their electric dirt bikes. So I feel like it's all in perspective. 
And honestly, if you live in a rich area, you could probably get away with riding one of these things even easier because all the rich kids probably have these for sure. Oh man, we're just drifting over all this stuff right here. 35 miles an hour, this thing is so fast. No problems whatsoever. Well, let's see how it does on the uh, the railroad tracks here. <laughs> okay, that's not very fun. Oh, don't worry, guys. This is a, this section is no longer used. Uh, so we're not going to be speed demoning through here because we're not supposed to be in here. Check it out, guys. Some of the stuff you'll see while you're out riding around. Look at that snake. Pretty sure that's a gopher snake. This is just to prove I am in fact wearing a helmet, but I almost ran this poor snake over. These things like to lay right in the middle of the trail. Okay guys, we're gonna be doing a catch and eat with a gopher snake. Say goodbye to Mr. Snake. I mean, just look how cool you look riding around on an electric dirt bike. I mean, this just doesn't get any better than this, guys. We're out checking out nature, living out childhood fantasies that are quarter-life crises, unrestricted. We know we don't exactly follow the rules, but we're not being jerks. You don't have to be a jerk when you break the rules, guys. You just break the rules. We bend the rules as we see fit. Because you know what? We're unrestricted. We ride electric dirt bikes, and we're having the time of our life, and I'm not making any excuses for it. You know, I've had this bike for about a month now, but unfortunately, I didn't ride it for much at all for the first couple weeks because I was so backed up with other bike reviews and stuff. So this bike kind of sat on the back burner for a bit. Then I finally rode it, and then I rode it a bunch, and then now I had another. Then I had another set of reviews, and then now I'm back on the bike. And I hope you be making more videos with it because this bike is uh, absolutely awesome. And I just want to show that you don't have to be one of those wheelie kitties to enjoy a bike like this. These bikes are just great for a bunch of different things. You don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to be a jerk. It's nice to be able to when you want to though, right? I actually bought it online and when I went to pick it up in the store and I saw it in person, I was like, holy crap, these things are so nice. So much nicer than I was expecting. It kind of blows my mind. You can buy a bike like this for $5,000, but like an equivalent full suspension Turbo Levo or Santa Cruz mountain bike is gonna cost you the same amount, if not more. 72 volt, 40 amp hour battery, which is huge. So you get a ton of range, you get a ton of suspension, you get a ton of power, and it's all for like the same price as a uh, base, base model full suspension mountain bike. It's pretty crazy. So obviously, you know, not these aren't for everybody. They're definitely more dangerous, but my perception when I had this is like, these are just for like Sir Ronster or people that go around and terrorize the neighborhoods. It's like, no, you don't have to do that. These bikes are fun to just ride around and I love it. It's unlocked feelings that have been dormant inside of me since I was a, a jun in junior high. So man, I've just had a ton of fun on this bike. It just really enables that unrestricted lifestyle, guys. You need to practice self-control when you have this, guys, because being unrestricted doesn't mean you just go around and uh, at full throttle all the time. No, unrestricted means you still have the discipline and restraint to control yourself. But we don't necessarily follow the rules, guys. So yeah, if you want to live within the class three e-bike lifestyle, nobody's stopping you. But if you want to buy a 60 mile an hour electric dirt bike, well, hey, this is America, baby. We can do what we want. Oh man, look how, look how overgrown these branches are today. I don't know if you guys see my channel, I usually come barreling through here, but no, not today. I'm not trying to get a, uh, perforated today all right we're in sport so let's see how fast this thing will go Popping out at 50 right now because I can feel we're riding into the wind. So I'm gonna turn around and see how fast we get going the other way. Let's give that another go. What do you say? Forty. Fifty. Fifty-five. Fifty-six. Ooh, this 
57, 58, and we're slowing down. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this bike at some point. But today I just wanna do another demonstration of like how much fun these bikes are to ride around. Because you know, they're like a hybrid between a bike and a motorcycle. So you can bend the rules a bit and do stuff like this, ride on the sidewalk. Keep in mind guys, I'm not riding 50 miles an hour on the sidewalk. But you know, we like to blend in around here. We're unrestricted, but we're not savages. You know, the sad part of uh, filming these videos is Typically I ride around with a Bluetooth speaker and I just enjoy the ride and take it all in, but you know, I can't play the music on these rides, so I make this sacrifice for you guys, you know? Because no, I'd probably be playing some Joe Esposito, the best around right now, you know, just to fully immerse myself in the uh, dirt bike culture. I think what it is, this is the pinnacle of electric bikes because once you start going further than this, then you're just another dirt bike on there. You're just another motorcycle on the road. You gotta start following all the rules. That's no fun. These are more for like people who live outside the lines, guys. We like to bend the rules and live outside the, the guidelines of society. So I think if you know, you had a legal, street legal dirt bike and you're riding around, what would that take off half the fun out of it? Cause then you have to go following the rules and just be a boring, what are you gonna do next? start paying taxes I mean come on let's we gotta draw the line somewhere right just really makes me sad that I waited till I was 44 years old to finally get a dirt bike and now we get to hit these little uh, shortcuts between all the neighborhoods which is fun you get to really learn learn your uh, neighborhoods when you ride your bikes around a lot of these things I knew of from when I was a kid and now it just transfers over to me being an adult like I can go anywhere I want. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people that buy these probably actually aren't gonna be doing like real hardcore off-road riding. But at some point I will do some. Uh, I will be taking this to my friend who lives in Nevada, he lives in the desert, and this bike will be an absolute perfect fit for that. Man, I'm telling you, everybody stops what they're doing and they look at you when you're on this bike. Because you're just the coolest person in the world. You're a... a genetic hybrid of Johnny Lawrence, uh, John Connor, Rambo, like just mix all those genetics into one human being. And that's who you become when you get on one of these things. But yeah, I've absolutely loved my time on the, uh, the uh, E-Ride Pro SS 2.0. You know, why don't they just make that name even longer than that? The E-Ride Pro SS 2.0 Revision A-2024 Model C Edition. Guys, it's all about learning the shortcuts and the, uh, the little, you know, the, the past least traveled when you're unrestricted. Because I think it's so fun when you get a dirt to dirt bikes and you get that sensation of adventure like you had when you were a kid, when you used to go explore fields and stuff. And I think so much of us guys, when you get restricted, you're in that nine to five, you're, you're working in your cubicle, you lose sight of all that stuff that was so magical when you were young and you got to get back on a bike. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm speaking for myself. I get that sensation of wonder and like excitement when I get back on my bike. It's just so cool. Every time. I love it. It makes me remember when I had my friends were all around and we'd all go ride our bikes around town and I don't know guys, I'm just trying to say you don't have to get a E-Ride Pro SS 2.0 Revision A 2024 edition, but you guys could get a bike and get out and start enjoying the outdoors and start adventuring and checking things out because you know what guys it'll make you feel young it keeps you feeling young I, I always try and tell people that and hey maybe this is not pedaling I'm, I'm cheating on this bike but this is still more exercise than you're gonna get sitting at home watching TV or sitting at home watching YouTube videos like you guys let's do a little bit of dirt bike things right now what do you say Whew. that was fun right guys that's a pretty steep hill I know a couple of years ago I would hesitate going down that, but now I go down that thing in any case. The one thing I do find myself really hesitant on is gravel. I'm, uh, I'm always extremely careful when it comes to gravel. Gravel, it doesn't matter what kind of bike you have. You can uh, wash yourself out so easy. So yeah, I'll ride aggressive sometimes guys, but I try and do it uh, without turning my brain off. Let's ride up this hill right here. Oh yeah, no problem at all. It's 
What's going on? Because you're the best around. No one's going to ever take you down. Except that car if you don't follow the stop signs. I've seen people ride upstairs, guys, and I've never tried it yet. You know, what do you say we try it? <laughs> that was a... Uh, well, that's a bit spooky, but it's actually not as bad as I thought. I had to cheat a little bit, but that's something I've never been able to do. You know, you can go up the stairs. Let's see if we can go down them. Oh, cakewalk. You know, part of riding is learning new things, right? Let's see, let's practice going up the stairs. There you have it, guys. There's another ride on the Pro SS 2.0 Revision A 2024 edition Model C. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to portray how absolutely awesome it is riding these things around. I love this bike. I've only made one video on it so far, I know. Remind you guys that yes, I still have this bike and we're gonna be riding it some more. If you wanna get yourself one of these bad boys, you can use the link in the description of this video doing so it does help support the channel. And guys, don't forget to live unrestricted and uh, be respectful of others around you. Being re unrestricted doesn't mean you have to be an asshole, right? But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace.